speaking and welcome to this video. Okay, day 17 of the Warboss May Painting Challenge. Um, and I'm on, on my stretch challenge at the moment, so I'm doing my second uh, batch of minis. Um, and I've been base coating, so I've been going in with that snake bite leather. Um, everything you see so far I've done two coats on. I uh, haven't finished yet, still got quite a lot of detail to go through, but I've been doing all of the obvious bits and pieces that I'm going to have to be painted, uh, have to paint, um, and then I'll just gradually bring the other stuff in as I go along. So first of all I've got the uh, Gene Steelers. Um, I've gone in on this particular unit because the, the way I uh, distinguish all of my units of Steelers is to have different backs. So when it's on the tabletop it's easy to see which is which. Um, now the last unit I painted I just had the spine painted. Um, now on this one I've done obviously the spine and all the, the, the rib section. Um, quite a lot of painting there actually so it wasn't the quickest of paint schemes to do um, but they look pretty cool. I have done the rending claws uh, but I've still got to do the, the hands and the feet, the little pieces of terrain, uh, that little section on his head and the teeth. Uh, so still a fair amount to do. Um, old one eye, I've just been doing as I said the basic stuff so the claws and the talons and the feet, that spine back and the tail. It's not too much on there, but um, enough. And then on the brood lord, again, I've just been doing the, the standard base coats, just there, there. Still got quite a bit more to do on those. And then the hive guard, uh, just done there, like claws and that piece on the gun. We're working on the back, so that's uh, how the back's looking. We've got those like little spines coming out. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'm going to wait um, until I've done all the other. Uh, base coats like all the bits going down the spine to see if I'm going to do anything else on here or not um, sometimes you just need to, to like see how it's looking before you decide but at the moment I've just done the spines I've done that on all three um, and I have managed to paint base coat all of the little gun options that go on the front of those uh, hive guard guns okay so that's what I've been up to uh, so just base coating uh, more base coating to come hopefully tomorrow uh, but let's have a look at today's question. Uh, if you could make a miniatures war game, either completely original or taking an existing intellectual property, what would it be? Be as detailed as you like. Okay, um, as you all know, I'm, I'm 40k based. Um, I, I would like to, to make a few, few like additions to 40k, basically probably just stuff that I've already played like house rule wise anyway. Uh, especially my Necron homeworld um, terrain because I like what I like about the Necrons is that the teleportation um, and in, in a few games that I've had uh, with my buddies we've, we've made up rules where you could like go into a building in through a door and then you could teleport um, and basically come out of like another building all the way across the other side of the table um, you know that, that's really good fun to play like that it just adds a different dimension to the game um, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably just add that type of thing, make this, make it even more um, fun and random. Um, yeah, it's great, great for um, for fun games, really. I suppose. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, nothing too detailed, but that is one thing that um, I do like to bring to to the game. Rightio. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I shall see you on day eighteen tomorrow.